Hello, thanks for your interest in our presentation. I'm Rui Ho from Institute of uh, Information uh, Engineering, Chinese Academy of Science. Glad to have this opportunity to present our work. This work is about the design of secure AI accelerators. Most of our work on AI accelerators focus on performance, cost, and energy optimizations. Our work concentrates on the security. I hope our work can call for more research efforts in this area. This is our outline. Nowadays, attackers can easily construct adversary symbols to deceive DNA models to make false predictions. With adversary symbols, what the machine see and what the machine hear might not be true. There are lots of research work on these areas. We can see many adversary attack papers in machine learning and AI top conference. Just like the name of this export session, in machine learning, do we need to trust? It seems that we need to do more effort to make machine learning systems more trustable. As a consequence, the defense on adversary attacks is a very hot topic and is still in the face of rapid, de rapid development. This table summarizes over 20 exist uh, major defense algorithms. Basically, they can divide have uh, um, three major categories. Some use pure DNN, some use traditional machine learning uh, approach to detect the noise. And one of the major trends is to use the hybrid methods. It combines the DNN and the machine learning. In case of the implementation, there are some problems. Existing deployment are usually based on GPU, and according to our best knowledge, there is no work so far to consider efficient support on DNA ASIC accelerators. There are two big issues. The first one is about the cost and efficiency. For example, on the one hand, sequential execution is inefficient. On the other hand, concurrent execution on dual GPUs or accelerators is expensive, and more importantly, existing ASIC DNA accelerator cannot support machine learning algorithms. Another issue is about the security. The communication between the target and the detect modules should be independent on OS or um, user level shared memory. That kind of communication is dangerous once the OS is compromised. So we expect a tightly coupled design. Okay, let's see one typical, typical working flow. First, the target net, uh, network starts to execute. At some point, the detection network uh, is triggered. It loaded the intermediate data of OF maps um, of the target network as its input. And the detect network might perform one or more layers of computation after that. And the target network will wait until the detection network finishes this layer. Such kind of iteration will continue until the two network finished. Of course, the detection network should run faster than the target network, and it will tear its results, for example, the safe or warning to the target network uh, before it generates its, its uh, inference results. From this typical working flow, we can summarize three um, uh, major requirements on the hardware design. First, we need high bandwidth data sharing. And the second, we need the elastic uh, hardware resource management. And last, we need the um, another CPU to run the long DNN uh, functions. So motivated by this analysis, it's time for us to reconsider the design of the security DNN accelerators. Our design goal is to develop a new DNN accelerator architecture that can simultaneously execute the target network and the detect mechanisms. There are some highlight features. First, we need it, th this architecture should be general enough and it sh should support efficient data communication and synchronization. And it should uh, effectively perform the special, the special uh, computation uh, required by the defense methods. And it should manage and schedule the computation and until buffer resource. Next, I will introduce our proposed DNN guard architectures. Here is an overview of the DNN guard architectures. It's tightly uh, uh, coupled heterogeneous architecture. And uh, the CPU core is mainly used for executing the special commutation. And to run both the target and the detection network simultaneously, the elastic DNN accelerators increase the number of PE and the global onto buffer as well as the long linear unit that is dedicated to uh, for the detection uh, network. The second feature is about the task level uh, data communication and sharing. Uh, existing DNA accelerator 
uh, usually use a static and one-way uh, until buffer. That kind of design is not suitable for the new proposed architecture. Thus, we propose the elastic until buffer management mechanism. It help for help to improve the local data reuse and it is supposed for concurrent tasks and it enforces read after write dependence between the tasks. And the third, third feature is about the task level synchronization and scheduling. This license will ensure um, that the detect network can obtain sufficient resource to process the data of the target network in a timely uh, manner. Instead of the using a complex handshake mechanism, we introduce a scheduler and uh, propose an extended AI instruction set for resource allocation, task synchronization, uh, as well as efficient data communications. There are also some important microarchitecture details. The first one is elastic until buffer. Essentially, it's a large global buffer composed of multiple SRAM banks and their uh, related address routing logics. Each physical bank is uniquely identified by an index. Uh, thus, multiple SRM banks are dynamically grouped together to form the global buffer. The scheduler receives instruction from the host CPU to form the configuration table and the routing table. According to those uh, configured table, the state, their status can be set dynamically without physically moving and copying data. During execution, the size of the buffer are dynamically allocated by the target and the detection network according to the instruction based on their uh, specified uh, policies. You can check this uh, policy uh, details on the paper. Each physical bank contains a full data register to show their uh, usage. When the data register shows that the target network has completed the computation of the current layer and written all OF maps to the NB out buffer of the target, the scheduler informs both networks to simultaneously read the shared feature maps as the input for their next layer. The second microarchitecture feature is the is a elastic PE array. Existing PE design is composed of multiple uh, composed of MAC and CACC with a single channel design. Naturally, this structure is unable to support multimodal uh, input and output. Also, it does not support dynamic allocation for target and detect network. Therefore, uh, we add three modules to the existing PE structures to support the elastic allocation of computing results uh, as shown in this finger. So the specific uh, description are uh, uh, described as follows. The first one is, uh, is MAC switch unit. It is added to the input port of the PE to select the activation value of, of or the weight of the input of a certain network. The second one is either uh, switch unit. It is added to the output port of the PE to select the values. And the last one, third one, is the routing logic unit. It guarantees the consistency of uh, uh, data input and output route belonging belong to the same network so that the target and the detect network can be executed as two, made, two separate threads. And the third microarchitecture details is the efficient communication and the synchronization for the two tasks. We use the event queue-based communication mechanism. So the scheduler can send task uh, start, suspend, resume uh, event to the CPU. And uh, we use a uh, address translation unit, ATU, between elastic DNN accelerator and the CPU. CPU can read and write data by the ATU. So to support the efficient data communication and synchronization, of the, this proposed heterogeneous architecture, we extend the AI instruction set. There are three major groups. The first one is the configuration panel. For example, the CFG resource allocated instruction is used by scheduler to dynamically allocate the PE and onto buffer for target, uh, target and detection at work. And in case of the data panel, the the global buffer to PE load and the, and the PE to global buffer store are used for uh, uh, detect the network to load and store data from the global buffer. Actually, existing uh, instructions can do this work, but the buffer accessed by the detect network has different address space, so we uh, design the new uh, instructions. Another two instructions are used for uh, the CPU to access data from, from and to the global buffer. 
And in case of uh, the control panel, the synchronization and the polling instruction are proposed to for the task level synchronization. Once the target network needs to wait the execution of detection uh, network, it will execute the control sync instruction and keep co keep polling the status of the detect uh, task. The, the target network will resume its uh, execution uh, till the polling check instruction observes the change of the status registers. Now, now let's go back to the DN guard architecture. The binary including the target and detect task are sent from host CPU to accelerator, and each instruction is tagged to indicate it's a target or detect task. The scheduler is in charge of dispatching these instructions according to their, their tags. In this case, the instruction will be dispatched to different PE part for execution, and if the detect task will be executed on the CPU, the scheduler will dispatch the instruction to CPU while the event queue and the detect task will access data from and to uh, the global buffer via the ATU. And of course, if the two tasks need to synchronize, uh, the synchronization and the polling instruction will be handled by the schedulers. Here is a typical example. You can check details from our paper. And this slide shows the software stack of the DNN guard accelerator. Basically, it's built on NVDRA software stack. The green one is the original NVDRA software, including its compiler driver. And the red one are the new components we added. The inputs include two networks. One is a target target network and the other one is a detect network. We need a converter to generate the data flow graph and the data dependencies of these two uh, networks. And this information as well as these two uh, separate networks are used as the input of the compiler. Inside the compiler, we introduce uh, analy uh, analytics models to generate the proper uh, uh, to generate the proper hardware configuration parameters for scheduling and resource partition. In order to reduce the search space of this model, a simulator is in introduced to provide some uh, heuristic information, including the uh, PE utilization of each, each network, as well as the computation behaviors and something like that. The next is about the evaluation. So we implement the DNN guard based on MEDRA and the RISC V op open source platform. And several state of, uh, state of art targets uh, DNNs are selected as a benchmarks, and they are ranging from Im image comprehension, object recognition, and NLP. And the three uh, typical detection uh, networks are also selected. First, we evaluate the case which the target and detect network run on the uh, elastic DNN accelerator. We compare the performance um, speed up and the memory bandwidth between uh, DNN guard and the original implementations. With the same hardware resource, the DNN guard actually uh, almost um, uh, 1.4 uh, times speed up uh, due to the extended AI instruction and the elastic resource management. And this slide shows the area and the power uh, cost of the elastic features with the same PE number and the uh, same size of onto buffer. Those elastic features introduce uh, only uh, less than 5% area cost and in increase uh, less than 17% uh, power consumption compared to the original implementations. And another evaluated case is about the hybrid detect methods. That's, that is to say the detection uh, mechanism ran on the elastic DNN accelerator and the CPU both. Uh, with the same hardware resource, we turn off and turn on the anti-buffer communications. We can see that turning on the onto buffer has obviously good performance. Um, our results shows that it actually uh, two times uh, uh, performance speed up and 67% uh, memory bandwidth reductions. The third evaluated case is for the machine learning uh, based the detect network. That, that is, these results are also in our uh, expectations. For small target network, the detect task dominates the full performance, and for the other medium and the large uh, target network, the detected task is not the performance bottleneck. Also, we made a sensitivity analysis for the case running only 
uh, target network, we can see that increasing PE quantity and DRAM bandwidth is helpful for single task performance, but increasing the size of untube buffer has limited uh, performance gains. Okay, let me summarize this presentation. We propose DNN Guard, an elastic heterogeneous DNN accelerator architecture that can efficiently support the simultaneous execution of a targeted DNN network as a detect algorithm or network that detect adversary symbol attacks. AI security is one important topic. I expect to see more research effort on this direction. Thanks a lot for your attention. Any questions, please feel free to contact us. Thanks for the organizer and the reviewer of SPLOS 2020. Thanks again.